Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate with me, Spaceface. Um, we are picking up exactly where we left off from. Um, and we've just collected the body of this dude. So we're going to head back to the start of the area. Where the guy's brother was. Um, it was just down here and then up. So we're going to head back there, um, talk to his brother, and um, not turn in the sword, basically. I don't think he wants the sword anyway. I think he says something like, oh, I'll keep the cursed sword. It's brought my family nothing but pain and strife and agony. Um, which is good, because we want the sword. Uh, we're going to try running Minsk around as a two-handed sword, wielding motherfucker. Would probably have been good to heal, thinking about it. Um, but they don't really seem to be hurting us too badly. Talk to this dude, probably gain some reputation. Keep the damn sword. More of a curse than anything. There we go. So we didn't actually get um didn't actually gain any reputation, so <laughs> there's a, a small upside. Um we'll try resting. Yay, rest successful. Okay. Let's head onwards. Onwards and into the cloakwood. Um, although, oh god, it's irritating. At least Minsk is free. Oh, no, reload, because, like, fuck traps. I hate them so much. So, where was it? It was around here. Actually, let's use the invisibility. Invisibility on him, Owen. Send her forward, because we can disarm the trap without coming out of stealth. So it was around here. Detect traps. Whoa. So close. Should have put more points in detect traps. There it is. Let's walk away a bit, quick save, and then walk back through here, and just make sure that there aren't any more traps in the general area. Seems like we're okay, so Imowin can set up over here, we'll bring the rest of the party in, and we will lead with Minsk and Khalid, wherever he is, there he is, running into combat. These three are going to chill. Uh, and Maybrin will fire a spell. Jira's going to throw a bless on down. So that dramatically failed to do anything. And now Imowin can come out of Invis and start shooting people in the back. So, notice that Minsk is poisoned. Irritating, but not unexpected with five air caps wailing on him. Uh, he immediately got re-poisoned by the looks of things, and desperately needs healing. So, everyone's going to heal him. We're going to slow poison on him as well. Oh, there we go. And we're going to run up and heal him as well. Because he's taking a lot of damage. Iconia and Jahira. So everybody is just pumping Cure Light Wounds into Minsk. That 
was a level up noise. That's what it sounded like. But I don't see anybody having leveled up. It might have been um, Bless expiring, actually. Oh no, Jahira did level up. So you can see, just poison is just fucking up the party. It's just poison. So let's level up Jahira. So she's a fighter 4 druid 5, so we level her up. Nothing, just hit points. How about priestly spells? Nope, no new slots, no new spells. Ah, uh, the healing is a problem when, um, it's not that the healing is a problem, the, um, the poison is the problem. But there we go, so Imowen, Invis, can head off to find a trap, right there. Me too, Imowen. I've done had enough of this too. Right, let's find the next trap. There's probably one around here. Like narrow passageway with only one uh, path up it. That seems like a, a trap city to me. No? Okay. Uh, I guess through here probably isn't really anything, but we'll check it out anyway. <clears throat> now, I don't actually remember Baldur's Gate 2 too clearly, but but I really hope that they got rid of the arbitrary traps just around. Like, there's just no no um no good reason like, I understand they're part of Dungeons and Dragons um but I think conceptually they're really they're really poor they don't encourage any interesting gameplay they just encourage you to have a champion or a hero who can disarm traps and they encourage a lot of reloading spiders uh, we'll probably skip those spiders we can't be bothered Okay, so with that, we declare this map complete. Ah, oh, there is some area over there. Okay, so we don't declare the map complete. Let's deal with these spiders. Actually, let's just send him in. Lazy mode. Just send the invisible rogue. And now we declare the map complete because you can't get there. There we are. So, quick save, and on to the next bit. Three giant spiders. Clarify. Our plan is to, um, once we get into Baldur's Gate, get Viconia the Brace of Strength, put the flail on her, and get Minsk dual wielding warhammers. I don't think we have two warhammers. I, I've just something in the back of my mind was telling me, oh, you have a, you hope you already have warhammers. Can you hear a wield scimitars? That doesn't make any sense. Wow, that does not make any sense. Plus two to hit, plus two damage. So her damage goes up three to ten, four to nine, but her to hit goes down. Okay, well we'll leave it on her anyway. Um, we, I was just about to rest there, but...
So yeah, we are starting to get to the point where sleep is not working. And I don't know if you remember, but when sleep is not working, I run out of ideas. So we're going to have to come up with another battlefield control at some point. Alright, let's talk to this suspicious looking git. Uh, he is a rogue that you can recruit, I remember now. Not someone we care about. So. Yeah, let's um let's rest. That's better. Get our spells back. New map, new set of spells. We're not worried about exactly how long it takes us to uh to rescue the sword ghost. Like this is a, a months long campaign, let's be honest. Oh, God damn it. There we go. I don't know why bears, like, you get too close to them and they get pissed off. But it always seems to be the weakest party member who gets too close to them. <laughs> like, it's never Minsk. In his ankeg plate, who uh, who gets too close to the bears? It's always a cleric. Now let's keep unlocking this um, this area of the map. This all looks quite nice and roady. I don't think there's anything down here. I just uh, hate to leave map unexplored. Oh, look at that. That's the next area, but we're not going to do that yet. Can't do that when the map's not clear. I know I said I was going to be like laser focused on completing the main quest, but that doesn't mean I'm going to leave <laughs> leave unexplored map behind me. Because I know I've said this a couple of times, but I do find that it's very difficult to go back. Like I'm making a conscious effort, or I, I made, I've made conscious efforts to go back and complete areas that um, that I haven't been doing as we go. <coughs> but it's something I do struggle with when I play Baldur's Gate. Is I hit, I hit the main quest, and I just do that. You there? Come on, just stop. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Lascal, and I'm the protector of the Cloakwood. I'd ask you a question. I have a message for those that serve the Iron Throne. Would you, representative, you have no connection with sworn enemies? Enemy of an enemy is my friend. The earlier question was just a test. <laughs> Iron Throne Fort is located to the east. West, east. And apparently we've gained an item. We don't gain these fucking items. Like, I'm. Am I going mad here? I have every time it says the party has gained an item, we have not gained an item. I give up. My game is broken. No XP but an item reward, but no item shows up in my inventory. Let's just keep clearing the map. Tack yeah, you cannot hide from judgment in the sight of a shadow druid. You have consorted with enemies. Okay. He seems like a dick. Uh, sleep almost certainly won't work, so we're going to drop glitter dust. Um, we're also going to place chant down. There we are. So the negative to his AC was more than we needed. 
it was not worth very much experience anyway. So, Shadow Druid. Seems to be guarding this old. Uh, oh, here we are. Quick save. Faldorn. Evil men have been defining the woods in the west and the east. Come with me. They dwell into a fort. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah, okay. We're not changing our party for no one, no matter how weird sounding they are. Oh look, big tree, big tree house. In we go. Uh, there should be a dude here. Detect traps. Maybe it's upstairs. One, two, three. Three potions. Upstairs. Amarand. Seniad's followers well known to me. You travel the one known as Jahira. Her naive views of society living in harmony with nature must be cleansed. As a shadow arch druid, it falls to me to be the sickle that cleaves your parasitic taint from this forest. Okay. Uh, that probably means you're going to die, mate. Sorry. Um, let's bless with Jahira. And silence. Uh, yeah, silence. I think I cancelled. Oh no. There we are. I thought that I'd cancelled Bless, but Bless cast before the silence did. Wow. Murdered. Ah, nice. A club. Let's give it to Imowen, seeing as she seems to be pretty capable of just IDing stuff on the fly. Move these potions out here. Club. Okay. A spell then. Oh, we don't have any. Really? We out of level one spells? No, we're not. Why can't I cast that? Oh, okay. <laughs> because I'm silenced. <laughs> Duh. There we go. What was that? Bless. Fading. Yeah, that was bless fading. Okay, Emmerwin. Loot this place. Nothing. Okay, so we killed the Shadow Arch Druid, that's good, because we fucking hate these tree huggers. Whoa, whoa. You take him down. Now apparently Viconia is encumbered. Yeah, the potions are too heavy for her. <laughs> She's carrying three potions and a flail. She's encumbered. She's really weak. <laughs> Need to get her those gauntlets of strength. Cool. So just keep on. Let's uncover this. Um, this quadrant of the map. I don't think there's anything here, but you know how I like to uncover the map. Splendid. So this map is way bigger than I thought it was going to be um, when we uh, we could have gone that way. 
probably hate me for uh, for not just carrying on with the main storyline, but hey ho. You're friends of Chira. She's the juridical that follows Seniad. I do not share their philosophy. God, these druids are total dicks, aren't they? Like, they're like, oh, you don't believe what I believe. Die. And they all, they're all like that. I thought they were supposed to be peaceful. Like, tree, hugging, hippie. Love the bear, love nature. Okay, so this is a cave. In we go. These are baby wyverns, so hopefully they're not going to just immediately fucking kill us. Um, I'm going to glitter dust them, and Jahira's going to bless us, and Viconia is going to chant. Just a humble woodsman. <laughs> I think you're lying to me. Oh, there we are. Okay, so baby wyverns, we got a bit scared for nothing. Baby wyverns, way weaker than daddy wyverns. Whoa. Get that motherfucker. Anything good? Got some arrows and some gold. Let's lure up the arrows and stack them up. We are going to need to pick up some more. Oh, there are some more. <laughs> some more arrows, I was about to say. Detect traps. It's probably good. Nothing. Cool, so that's the baby wyvern cave, the weird baby wyvern cave. Some dude breeding wyverns for some reason. Didn't pay too much attention, just killed him. Vamp wolves. And we'll glitter dust as well. He's going to deal with the Tazloy. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm bored of dealing with the Tazloy. Go back to your bow. And we'll just nuke him. Vampiric wolves. Bit of a pain in the ass. We are just not hitting it now. Weapon ineffective, weapon ineffective. Okay, Emmerwin, you need to use plus one arrows. Use Doom on this fuck. Drop his saving throws. Okay. <laughs> Or don't, or as soon as I cast a spell, he's immediately going to die. Either or. <laughs> How are we on XP? Pretty good. It's going pretty good. Um, let's put some healing on Khalid, because he took a bit of a kicking there. going on with that vampiric wolf, but we just weren't hitting it for some reason. Anyway, that's the top left quadrant cleared out. So let's carry on and get this uh, this whole area uncovered, and then we will uh, probably have to call it there. 
for the uh, for this episode because we're coming up on the end of the segment. Nice. Nothing super exciting up here so far, just river uh, that we can cross apparently. Didn't think we'd be able to there. That's edge of map. And head down, clear this area out. More river. River and nothing. Tasloy. I do feel bad wasting plus one arrows on Tasloy. I think. Like, I kind of begrudge ammo <laughs> as a concept in D&D &D as well. <laughs> it's like, it's one of the things that you probably shouldn't get me started on. Like, poison, traps, ammo. I know they're, like, core to the D&D &D experience, but I think they're fundamentally uninteresting, mechanics-wise. Like, who wants to keep track of uh, the number of arrows in their quiver. Ugh, yawn, right? Okay, so there's actually nothing else on this map at all. Um, this whole section that we just cleared out had nothing in it, just Tazloy, so all of the interesting stuff was over here. Uh, but never mind. How are we for... Get oh, we need to identify this, don't we? Hey, it's a plus two club. Well, that can go straight to Jahira. There we go, look. That makes her a little bit better. Does anybody else have scimitars? No. She's the only one. That's so odd. Like... Anyway, travel. So we've still got quite a few bits of cloakwood to get through. We've got one... At least two more sections, maybe three. Oh, 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 livens. Okay, so we're going to take this a bit seriously. Um, everyone, we're going to focus one down and then deal with the other one. Um, we don't have Bless, so we are going to use Doom straight away. I think we're out of Chant, so that's just a total pain in the ass. Uh, don't think that'll work, but we'll give it a try. Um, and we will also cast Glitter Dust. Okay. That did work, which is great. So everybody else, take out this Wyvern. And we want to be standing by to, when he gets back up, knock him down again. Like, Command is a weird spell, but if it works... Nice. Um, Alright, so now we're going to move the clerics and the... Yeah, where's the other cleric to here? We're going to move her back. There we go. So, we don't really have anything useful except for um, slow poison. So, let's try and nuke him down nice and quick. The armor class reduction seems to be really helping, because we're hitting them a lot easier than we were the last time we came through. Yeah, that, that went a lot better than it did the time before. Now, I seem to recall Wyvernheads being useful. Whether it's just a, a gold thing, like the pelts, or whether there is actually a use for them. I don't remember. <coughs> but, anyway, we've made it here, so we're going to end the episode there. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will hopefully see you next time.